Very good evening, ladies and gents, and welcome to tonight's isolation session. Um, make this one quite quick this evening. It's been a really quiet market. Um, now, uh, risk warning, customary risk warning, trading is risky. Uh, no under illusion, be under no illusions of that, particularly margin-based products, CFD spread bets, etc. cetera. Uh, these signals, you're not gonna be offered the same protections as uh, you would think as a retail client because these recommendations are not personal to you. They're more an information only and you act upon them. Therefore, you're not gonna have protection from the Ombudsman or the Compensation Services Scheme. Uh, in addition, lastly, Synergy is authorised and regulated as it must be to deliver this service. Let's start. So we had a couple of trades today, one for the standard, uh, two for the premium. Both, uh, one in the premium played out really well. Obviously, the they both played out well, but I uh, risk managed and I managed the position on the AUD CAD. Um, I just didn't want news to trip it up. It's unfortunate that news was in the way. This is one that we've spoken about in the videos about getting involved with, and it really did take off. Bit plus 25 and more. Uh, we'll cover that in a moment. Let's get to let's get down to it and have a look what happened. So AED AED CAD. Here it is. Now, what have we got? This is the four hour perspective. We drew out on the previous week ahead video how we saw this one structured. And if you remember the W at the bottom, the first level, the second level. W structure again, W structure again, break, retest, high highs, high lows, high highs, high lows. We're simply just following those breadcrumbs. And it led us to a point where uh, we had an opportunity to enter today. It was around here. We got the entry, gave us a little move up, I think plus 10, and I sent out a message to just manage the position due to the risk of the news. Um, and we just came back to the 50, remember those, uh, candlesticks from before, railroad tracks, in, out, and back in. Here as well, off the 50, off the 50, off the 50, off the 50. Really nice trade. It's now created a Gartley cell, X, A, B, C, D. It's a higher high, waiting for the higher low. Uh, annoying. GBP AUD, selling off as kind of expected, you know. We're level one, level two here. This could all be level two. We don't know yet how this has been handled, whether this is the, the top and this is level one on the way down, level two, etc. I'm not trading it. It's one of those. Yeah, so I won't be trading this one. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Blimey. Okay, so we've got two days of drop, expecting a third day. Remember, we have the huge uh, Gartley pattern that completed. As you can see here, massive ABCD. <laughs> Bless me. Massive ABCD pattern complete. Kind of a harmonic ABCD at the lows here. Three hits to the low as well. Expecting price to move forward. We had stronger inflation data in Canada today. So what that implies to me is interest rates are going to remain on the pedal. And therefore, we are seeing structure being built here. This is a really nice collection zone. Try and collect some pips from this sort of area. Just trying to delete this automatic mad Gartley just to show you the picture better. What we can say is that we've clearly broken out from this structure here. This is a clear breakout, albeit testing this candle. We've then come back into the range and we're creating this structure here. High, higher, low. Equal high, higher, low. Higher high, higher low. So for me seeing this higher low point after seeing a high high, higher low, high high, higher low, one, two, three to the low. This is where I want to start stepping up. And I'm watching this one closely. This is a buy for tomorrow. GBP JPY is a peak formation at the moment. We've had two days, two complete consolidation zones and hugging the 50 up here. We haven't retested any of this, I'm passing it. Euro GBP, really nice structure, could re-enter the existing position that we have. Level one, level two, notice the W, one, two, three to the high, creating that, creating ultimately a high and a higher low at the moment and an internal structure, I believe, we're starting on the high, high and high low. That's all I'm looking for, really, high highs and higher lows. Look, we've got it here, high, high, higher low, high, high, this is a higher low area. Um, let me drill down a bit. 
So what have we got here? These were the high highs and high lows. So at the moment, yeah, this is really nice, really encouraging. Lovely price action. This is level two off the 50, exactly where we wanted to see it. We've had three um, three weeks of drop. I'm actually writing this down again. The only annoying thing is the market's not actually giving us a great deal each day. So if we're going to jump back onto this one, we've already had entries at 0 0.6, uh, 0.585. And it's just simply a nice entry, a high low, um, high low entry. Nothing, no thrills. Um, notice the, uh, let's go back to this candlestick set. Notice this candle off the 50. Even if you took this candle, you'd have had a few pips, pretty stop loss break even. But just look for the structure, high highs, high lows, high highs, high lows. So internally I'm looking for, guess what? High highs and high low. Uh, what have we got so far? Break of structure, high or low. Want to see another one? high low and then I want to see some tricky sort of not tricky but the the magic source sort of happening here to get in see if that happens if it doesn't happen you pass euro usd explosive move this was one that I was talking through yesterday of being dangerous because we're at the 800 EMA we're at bang in the middle of the zone uh, this is level one rise expecting higher prices ultimately is this a consolidation zone in, in a fractal sense of the word you can argue that this is a W, one, two, three to the high, consolidate, hitting the highs. Are we going to come back to the lows? Difficult to know. I want to see a break and a retest before I look at that. Euro JPY, again, like all the JPY pairs, they're in this peak formation area. So we have kind of made, a, made an equal low pullback. We never actually broke this. This hasn't been broken. It may look like price has broken it, but it hasn't because the wicks containing the bodies of these candles. And so what, what can't go down must go up. And as you can see at the top here, we've got a clear M, but it's also a lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Trap, creating a false move back up, targeting the 50 EMA, which we boxed, looking for shorts, pass for now. TBP. CHF, again, a difficult pattern. Level one, it's not so pretty as level one rise. We've had the yellow harmonic. Um, we've had an ABCD complete today or yesterday that I was contemplating sending. I didn't in the end. It did give some pips. It did give quite a number of pips. Okay, 25 pips. We would have taken it around here and it would have given us this. Um, excuse me. That's bloody cold. It would have given us that. And uh, it's given us three days of drop now. So we expect tomorrow to be supportive of price. Let's see how we go. Enter DJPY, not sure what's going on. Looks like we're pushing higher. Level one, level two, high highs, higher lows. Internally, you've got one, two. This should be an area for longs to step up. And if it is, you're really going to expect price acceleration. We've certainly seen that overnight, price acceleration. What's really amazing to notice is how this market is and this is really key here. People buying here, I think, are in for a bit of a nasty surprise. I don't think this is going to continue. What we do have is a week of drop, second week of drop. Market's working through. I do expect it to give us a third. You know, it's done the stops down here. It's doing the stops up there. We've got how many days of rise have been complete? So we've got a day of rise, second day of rise, three days of rise. Against the market makers pattern, it is a peak formation, so I'm passing ultimately. AUD, beautiful setup, expecting shorts. Now this one's sort of, this one's now today managed, potentially re-managing my expectations of when. So this was key, this harmonic holding price together at the moment. We're still in touch with it, just. And um, we haven't, this candle is the breakaway candle from here. So we really could be in terms of you know this could be a really aggressive move back up to the, to the 800 somewhere around here it may even want to get back up to here difficult to know critical time for it but ultimately the market makers do have it lower level one level two coming down to this peak we've completed the harmonic we haven't completed the abcd in blue if i can come closer and have a look what's going on at the moment we have ultimately this is a w isn't it this is a consolidation zone and we're going up again. Wouldn't surprise me to see us keep running through Christmas on this one. Pass.
No point taking anything if it hasn't set itself up with a sequence. Gold. Holding. Gold is holding. It's um, level one, level two, high highs and high lows and level two consolidation. This is really nice. This is a very strong, long entry on gold. If we close, how we are closing. So I'm definitely keeping gold up. Gold, to me, looks gold. Let me just double check that on my other system. Gold is definitely, definitely shaping. And uh, what was I looking for there? Uh, what was I looking for? So we've got the close there. Come back down, retest, and the close above. Okay. Yeah, this is looking good. Let me go into the 30 and sort of point out what I'm looking for. So what I can see on this is on the four hour, is it the daily? One of them. Here we go. So you can see what's going on here. You don't really need all this pattern on here. I'm just showing you examples of how I come to price. You know, I, I don't really need all these things on the screen. But you can see the harmonics being repeated all over. You can see that the market makers give out also this swing here. You know, they like to, well, they don't like to, they do. That's just the the DNA of gold. You know, gold moves to this vibration. And if I take that, and do it here, you know, it's undeniable really. So we have this vibration and then we have this move here. So this move here, if we take it off and use it to our own, this is the thing we're trading, everything's sort of given to you on the, uh, on the page. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's something to keep note of. But what I've seen here, why I'm interested, is obviously the, this change in a break is very important. And then the second high, 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 low really makes it a no-brainer. And what we're seeing is this internal low, 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 high. We've taken it out here. Taken it out once and we're closing above it. That is an entry signal in itself. Write that down. Euro NZD. One of my old favourites, but not shaping up yet. Being held by the blue harmonics in level two consolidation. We are expecting higher prices. It looks to me like we're going to play out an ABCD lower pass. ADCHF, again, holding people hostage. People aren't sure where this is going. This looks a bit suspicious. This sort of, this looks suspicious, but we're coming into a crunch point. Really suspicious. It doesn't, it just doesn't look like a, a bottom to me doesn't look like a bottom so i'm not going to touch it I've, I've shown you this chart before you can go back and look at it much like aud usd pushing higher at the minute the market makers pattern is lower level one level two peak to peak peak to peak we've still got down here to go and i can see a clear one two and expect the third to come hence why this doesn't convince me I, it doesn't matter if i'm wrong because i'm not trading it so i'm not going to lose money in it i'm not i'm only going to put my money in stuff where i can recognize some price action I can't see it. This, I don't like it. Price is being held between this high and this low. It's created a double bottom of some kind. It's forced it away here from the lows, you know, trapping shorts. I don't know why people will go short on a double bottom anyway, but it's trapping, obviously, retail traders. You can see the one, two, three to the low. We've then pulled up to activate all those selling on the, um, on the Fibonacci 786. We've pulled back from there. You know, we track buyers buying at the 61.8 of this, and it's just got them at the moment. And it's got those that are trying to, um, you know, some longs are trapped here. Longs are obviously trapped here. Longs are trapped here. Shorts are trapped here. All tra Everyone's trapped, so I'm going to pass. I don't want to get caught up in that. Uh, Euro ED, another one that's sort of misbehaving, but really like it. Uh, Euro, U, Euro AED, expecting the harmonic to come in. Beautiful pattern, level two rise pass. Euro CHF, what have we got? Euro CHF, this is one I wanted to get long on. I've spoken about this pattern at length. It's a beautiful setup. If you have a look at it in its glory, you can see the consolidation zone one, two, and a massive double bottom. It's also three years of drop, one, two, three to the low. This is one I really want to get involved with, even if you're getting involved later on. It was sort of tempting traders. It was tempting me a lot. I mean, it showed me a lot of things. 
crazy. I mean, you do ultimately have one, two, three to the high. That's what you can't deny. And uh, this was the last lower high. Um, some people would have counted this one, two, expecting a third. I am if that of that camp because the last lower high isn't here. It's here, really. And we have broken that structure. And then we've come down in one, two, three to the low. So I'm just waiting for this to turn around and give us a bit of structure in our favour. Pass. GBP USD flying machine today. Having a look what we've got. We're at the 800 of being held. Level one consolidation. This is level one rise. Sort of trying to make high highs, high lows, high highs, high lows, and then internally high highs and high lows. That's all you can go off. You've got to try and align yourself with the trend. Um, double bottom, high, 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 low, high, 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 low. This is part of the Elliott wave theory where there's, mm, there's different types of, well, it's called alternation, really. You might have three pushes in one level, maybe the first, maybe the second, maybe the third. At the minute, they put it in the second push. So you have one and then one, two, three to make two. And they finished it off with here. You're not messing around at the 800. This is 78, 61.8% levels. Lots of traders trading there. Lots of stops, lots of swings, pass. No sequence. USD JPY, again, not really getting involved in this sort of thing. We've broken and we're retesting today, it seems. Massive old pattern. Break retest on the harmonic area of interest, still pass. Uh, USD CHF, at least it's done one, two, three to the low. We want to see this double bottom like we saw a double top, so we're not going to look at it yet. Look at the candle, it's just straight down. We want to at least see a straight down and a straight back up pass. NZD USD, much like AUD USD, this guy has broken the mold, but it has given us three pushes higher. Push one, push two. Now, again, much like the previous video, previous example where I showed you that push two had the alternation in it. One, two, three. So we are targeting potentially the 800 here. I'm not trading it because there's no sequence. So I'm not going to get caught up in this. Um, I was long. People were long last week, I believe, or it was an ABCD pattern. We actually got in off this low down here. It's done 150 pips. We thought we were out here. But it just continues to move higher and fair enough, pass. ADJPY, some form of a peak formation, but with an aggressive move today. Not an entirely sure. Um, I'm not trading it really. So unless we break these highs, then I will adjust the pattern. EuroCAD, we sent this in the premium group today. It's a really nice trade. It played quite quickly. Um, what did we see? We've seen a massive double bottom complete on the 800. On this particular chart, it's on the 200 or close to. And um, so we're in the middle of the range, which is one negative. But ultimately, we're expecting aggressive prices higher. It's going to be a little bit difficult for it because we've just had um, we've just had the uh, G the CPI from Canada come out stronger. What this chart sort of shown me so far is the the one. I mean, this is one two, and I'm fearing for a large three. We'll have to see. We are in it at the minute. It has given plus twenty five. We'll see what happens. Uh, USD CAD, again, very tempting, nearly had a go on it today. Didn't, the harmonic's definitely completed now, the big old heavy blue harmonic. Um, so we're in a zone where we've taken out, but it, it's not actually taken, we've tested this zone and we've tested the break. This is the first proper break test. See three clear waves, one, two, three. You can see that alternation, one, two, three. It's really a expectation of higher prices on this one from here it's just trying to jump on board and i think it's too early at the minute this is just straight down at least we've got to be breaking up here fast for now chf jpy peak formation to the stars three years of rise pattern complete waiting for it to turn around pass new year probably aud nzd um dartley had given us the rise here high 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 low high high waiting for the high low pass not touching it that JPY, peak formation and pass also. So there you have it. I um, hope you enjoyed the content. If you have any questions, reach out. If you'd like to learn the method, reach out. And uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you.